Hello, Advent squirrels. <laughs> I'm still so behind. <laughs> it's okay. I've been doing other stuff and sleeping. <laughs> After this, I love the way this light blue and then the dark blue looks together. Midnight. Let's go over the colors, shall we, with my cheat sheet here. Let's see. Okay, we started with Ruby and then Mercury. It's a dark, uh, medium gray. And then Shadow Purple. I may have said Purple Shadow, but I think it is. Maybe I said it right. Shadow Purple. Freesia is the pink. And the green is lime. And then we have baby blue. And midnight is the navy or marine blue, I call it. And now, <laughs> on the skewer, <laughs> my lovely Furl's needles. Uh, after midnight, I think I got it from the bottom up. We go to this silver, which is a lighter silver than mercury. Okay, and then after light silver, this is called crystalline. And I know it looks like a robin's egg blue, maybe on the screen, but it's a mint green. And then this was called, this was yesterday's, and it was called soft beige. Remember I said it was like a rose beige? It's got a little pink tint to it, I think. So, let's see what we get today. I've got it on my lap here. Got it on my lap, got it on my lap. Edna just called. Yay! I got to hear from Miss Edna. And she's doing this. And by the way, I know we'll, we'll y'all help me remember, those of you who are watching this and you come to live, live at five today. Miss Edna and Wayne, everybody's doing okay, but her son-in-law, they were supposed to go over to her daughters and son-in-laws and family on Sunday, but they didn't because... COVID. Just, you know, they've been staying in and away from germs and stuff. But their family came to them. So after that, I guess maybe the month, what is this? I guess maybe Monday. I'm not sure. But anyway, the son in law who sat beside Miss Edna at the dinner table tested positive for COVID, y'all. So, please keep Miss Edna and her son-in-law and the whole family, her son-in-law's, her daughter, and that, that family, and Miss Edna and Wayne and everybody in your prayers that nobody else gets it and that her son-in-law gets along fine, that I hope he really doesn't, I didn't ask her if he had any symptoms or anything, but he also has leukemia. He's in remission for it, but... Look at this, would ya? It is a bright, bright... Now, I don't know. I gotta look the color name up. But the color number is 513. Let me write that down right quick. 513. And it just looks like a very... We've already had lime. This is lime. And this looks on the screen, not, this looks minty on the screen. It doesn't look like that here. It looks like a, just a very bright green. Not a Kelly green, like a bright lime. Again, the number's 513. So, after <laughs> the soft beige, this is the lineup, after the dark blue, which was after the light blue. This will be the colors. <laughs> My yarn kebab. 
Here you go. Okay, I was trying to think of my memory, you know, right as I'm sitting here, because I'm always like, I know I'm behind, and I was going to sit in there and get more done, and then do this. I said, i got to see what the next color is. got to see what the next color is. <laughs> so I figure y'all won't. Y'all won't hurt me too bad. Y'all understand how ADDDD I am and that I fall asleep all the time. Um, but a memory. My daddy, speaking of, well, memories, this hat will be involved in the memory today. Not this one in particular. Daddy, in his later years in life, well, maybe for a lot of years, but I only found out about it maybe a few years before he passed, he slept with a hat on. He didn't have much hair on top. He didn't have much anywhere, really. He used to when he was young. He had a big old head full of hair. Not a big head, but a lot of hair. But, yeah, he slept with a hat on, and so I started making him hats. You know, real warm ones. Real bulky warm ones so he could wear them. Night, night cap. Mama thought it was funny. She said she'd roll over and look at Daddy with that hat on and just whatever. <laughs> but you know, the romance had been gone for many years. Now here's something I gotta remember to get. Let me finish the hat. Okay, so now I sleep, I've been sleeping in a hat, not because Daddy did, but because I get cold, and I know that our heat, learned a few years back that our heat, you know, if you wear, if you're cold and you put a hat on, even if you're indoors, it kind of makes you warmer all over, because supposedly heat comes out of our head, so. So I wear a hat, and y'all should see the one that I usually, I might wear a hat like this, and then I've got this big old felt, it looks like a Russian hat, y'all, that thing is huge, I made it really big, I didn't follow a pattern, of course, and I felted it because it was wool, I mean intentionally, because it never would have fitted, I have to bring that sometime, it's a scream, it's huge, but I'll put that hat over this hat. And I'm in the bed sleep. I'm all kinds of sexy, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, he, but speaking of mom and dad and, you know, their passion have been being uh, a thing of the past for a long, long time. Daddy one time said, in Sunday school, I probably told y'all this, I'm remembering at some point in time. But anyway, we got new squirrels. But he was in Sunday school, and I don't know what brought it up, but <laughs> he said, he said their uh, marital bed, well, he was, I guess, was saying that they had a water bed, but it was one that had a whole lot of foam and stuff, you know, separate heat controls, and it was a fancy bed. But Daddy told him that <laughs> his water bed was like, had been like the Dead Sea for <laughs> a number of years. If you know what I mean, and I think you do. And anyway, when Dad passed, I put uh, a hat I had made him. The last hat I had made him that he had worn. I wanted to put it on him, but I thought that'd be kind of... Well, I didn't care. I thought it would be cool, but... I figured mom would be opposed to it. So I just put it at his hands. Um, anyway, there's your memory. Daddy in his hat in the Dead Sea. <laughs> Woo, I love my people. I sure do miss them, but I'm glad they're where they are. And, uh, you know, so... Have a Merry Christmas. Happy 23rd. Tomorrow's going to be Christmas Eve. What? And our last... Well, I guess I keep doing Vlogmas, don't I, till the end of the, of the month. Then what will I do? Can't come up with... I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll just sit around and knit or something. <laughs> knit or crochet. 
All right, I love y'all, but do something Christmassy. Do something fun. Be crafty. I know you will. Don't lose. This is not a time to lose your curry, Joe. <laughs> or your knit, Joe. Or your spin, Joe. Or your loom, Joe. Um, and I know it's a busy time um, for some folks, but find, even if it's five minutes to sit and just kind of de-stress with a little with a little yarn therapy i love y'all and i hope to see you at five our crowd's been kindly slimming down i loved it when there was like 70 some folks by the way i did turn on i don't know if it'll work today if it takes a while whatever if you see something new with uh and you might not notice anything i don't know how it's gonna be but a few people did, a few of the squirrels did mention that I ought to give the membership thing a try. Do not feel like you have to do it. It's the thing where, I'm sure you've seen it on other channels, like Dana and Joe's got it. I'm a member of theirs at the lowest level, for, and I am for uh, Tracy's. And mine are set up for $1.99 a month, That I call them different squirrels. That's a ground squirrel. And the next level is like two ninety nine. That's a brown squirrel. I think it is, because that's what we have around here. And then the third level, which is three ninety nine, and all these is a month, um, is a flying squirrel. But don't feel like you got to do any of that. And I was gonna say I'm a member of Tracy's. Uh, shoot, what's her name? Crochet Rocks. And, so, and there's one other one. But anyway, and I can't do it for everybody, but, you know, those were just some of the ones that I followed regularly, and I noticed that they had that, and I could do it at the lowest level. So, and, it, and you can quit any time you want to, but you don't have to do it. Don't feel like you're not a member of the Squirrel. You're, you're a member of the Squirrel mm -hmm. Squad just because you subscribe. But those are just some little extra things. And I know, like, Joe and them have the... All I've got are these little badges that that YouTube did. Because y'all know I'm not tech-savvy. But I'm going to try to figure out... And, it, and I left out... Everybody gets a shout-out on each of the different levels that you're a member. And everybody's going to see it because your name would be in a different color. Um, other than the blue. I think... I, on, when I'm on uh, Tracy's and them, mine's like green, I think. But um, hopefully in the future, I'll have some more little emo. I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know how to do the emo extra emojis and all that stuff. So I put that on the thing. Like <laughs> I put it on a community announcement that, you know, that I was going to try. And I prayed about this because I don't want anybody to get upset. And leave because they think I'm just nickel and diming y'all to death. Don't do it if you don't want to do it. If you can't do it, if it don't, just don't even worry about it. I'm not going to think anything less of anybody. Um, so, that it's just there in case. And like I said on the community post, I prayed and prayed and prayed about because I don't want anybody to leave because I'm try giving this a try. Uh, it's just one more way that um, some folks, you know, it's a convenience to them. They can just do that and not do. So, and I don't know anything about how much. Yeah, it's a YouTube thing. And so some moolah comes out of that too. I don't know how much, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that in case it pops up and things look a little bit different on the live today. I don't know. It might, it might, it might not, but, so do it if you want to, but if you don't, that's totally fine. You are still a member of the Squirrel Squad just because you subscribe, and I thank you for everything you do coming on. I can count on some of you to always be on the chat, or always be lurking, or always, um, what, or maybe not always, but a lot of times looking at the replay or 
commenting or listening to the story or you know whatever everything is appreciated and just subscribing is appreciated so thanks for every every everything and i love you and i count you as a blessing each and every one of you and merry christmas and be sweet don't be ugly and hope to see you at five bye bye